morning. It's attracts so many know and love, and it's getting an upgrade. Talladega Super Speedway will unveil its transformation during next October's race. Jack Royer live at the track with a look at what is to come for fans. Jack, it looks like the sun has come up a little bit for you guys out there. Lee, I recommend adding watching a sunset at Talladega Super Speedway sunrise to your bucket list. It is a uh, quite the sight for sure. And this place as the sun rises on it. The next phase is just around the corner. This transformation project we've been reporting on is set to begin in a year. It's a big investment for Talladega and one that they say is the best way to celebrate their golden anniversary. For a racing cathedral's golden anniversary, call it a facelift. We're not messing with the party. We're still going to party Friday and Saturday night. We're just giving them a better place to party during the race day. New infield features including fan zones to make the experience with drivers more personal than ever. Having the open air garages and letting people get up close and personal to our cars while we're working hard, it's a very cool experience. And, and being around social media, I think the Wi-Fi is a huge part of it. It's a $50 million project with help from the state of Alabama. Alabama and something local fans are already excited about. Really exciting. I've always been the one to like go interact and like want to meet the drivers, things like that. So I think I think it'll be a good contribution to the to the infield. Talladega Super Speedway, a fan favorite for half a century, now bringing itself up to speed. I think we forget how many people can uh, be accommodated by this place. 80,000 grandstand seats, not to mention the infield, and that's what's changing. Uh, there's a focus in this industry, I'm told, on luxury as of late, and that's what Talladega wants to focus on, and they want to make it a better experience overall. They're widening the tunnel, making it easier to get in and out, and Lee, I can tell you, they don't waste a second of daylight here. They're already on the track this morning, cleaning it off before some uh, race cars get on the track in just a little while. A busy Friday morning here at Dega. Sounds like